Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and I'm here today to let you guys know what will be coming with update 12.1. Before continuing, two main ideas to express. One, this is a meat season update. These updates are mainly focused on bug fixes and quality of life improvements rather than new content. Two, due to an extremely busy schedule on my half, I haven't been able to play this preview build as much as I usually do with other preview builds, so I can't offer as much knowledge or testing as I usually do, and I apologize for that ahead of time. With that out of the way, let's get right into this. So starting off, the first part of this update was another step of the challenge overhaul. This step being the addition of a huge pool of new challenges. As shown in the screenshot, the new challenges will be more varied than before, offering more things to break up the average gameplay. Next, in minor changes, the game's guide system has received a remake, now looking far more cleaned up and well done, as well as easier to use, a change that many minorly help new players and allow it to be a spot that play people can just suggest to use it for advice. Next up, we have the addition of Legacy Season 8, Trappers, a season with the amazing Snowstorm Yushanka, which I personally make use of for my character. But aside from that, there isn't much to really note from it. There will also be a new premium pack with this update, however I couldn't find anything in the preview build on it, so I'm going to assume we're going to learn more about it in the upcoming dev streams. Now onto major changes. First is a change in how drop shotting will work. This change will make it so when hitting the button to drop and in the animation of dropping, your accuracy will be incredibly low before returning to normal as soon as you hit the ground. Personally, I don't see this as fixing the issue, especially as it seems to be when you hit the ground, your aim jumps upward, which may be the perfect thing to wind up a headshot. However, I haven't tested it in live encounters, so I think it will be something we just have to wait until public release to make a call on. Now, the whole inability to test is made so I only know vague details and ideas about the remaining parts of this update. However, it does have some interesting additions. First up is a new report system. This has been heavily requested by the community as a way to combat cheaters of all kind. I generally haven't been a huge supporter of the idea due to the likeliness of massive false report frequency being unfiltered, basically making it so that genuine cheaters slip through because there's just so much mesh. But it seems like the devs have believed that the pros will outweigh the cons here and have decided to add it. Next, there is a stagger rework. I have no idea what this means exactly, but based off balancing it, maybe a return of the old AR's ability to stagger at chances. Um, this would give the AR class the ability to stagger MGs, and which would really even the odds. However, I don't know what exactly it is. I really won't know until the live build drops. Finally, Elim has received a UI overall. Once again, I apologize for my inability to gather footage on any of these features and promise that as soon as an update goes live, I will extensively test and review all of them. Until then though, this has been Crystal Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.